Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the feature management functionality within Business Central. So what is the feature management functionality? Well, it's basically a page provided by Microsoft which we can use to test um, incoming functionality via um, an update to Business Central, um, but we can test that before the update has been applied. Um, so what I'm going to do is just search for my feature management page and bear in mind I am in a development environment here so before we go ahead and start testing playing with things on the feature management page um, we'd always recommend that you do that in a sandbox or test environment first so let me just go ahead here and type feature management um, and we're presented with the feature management page. Um, and what we have here is basically just a list of functionality which is going to be released at some point in time in the future. Um, so if we focus on this one here, so that's the um, feature update, um, the allow using of multiple posting groups for the customer or vendor. Um, and what we have is just a little bit of information regarding that particular update. So what I can do is click the learn more um, and that will take me out to a new tab here and it will give me a list of what's um, coming into BC and I can find my um, update on this particular list and I can um, sort of just find out a bit more information on that if I want to. Um, next, um, on the feature management page, I also have the um, automatically enabled from field. So this is just giving me an indication of when this particular feature is going to be updated in the future versions of Business Central. Um, so which version um, are we on right now? Well, we can find that out from a few places. So we can go to the admin center if we have access to that or we can use the um, question mark up at the top here, so the help button. Um, so if I go into help and if I go help and support, it lets me know here that the version that I'm on is GB Business Central 22.2. Then it tells me which platform and application versions we're on. Um, but if I have access, I can also go here to the settings cog and the admin center, and that opens up a um, new page here which is the admin center within business central and we know that i'm in the development environment here and i can see that i'm on this particular version and also if i have any available updates as well um, but just coming back to the feature management page here what i can do which is actually quite clever is i can enable for um, all users or none here. So I've got an option on the drop down. Um, so if I want to enable um, this functionality, so the uh, allow using of multiple posting groups for customers and vendors, I can do that for all users on this environment. So that's quite important here, guys. The changes that we're making apply to the whole of the development environment. So this is why I would always recommend doing this in a test environment first. Um, just to make sure that it works with the rest of your um, solution components. So uh, always enable in a test environment first. Um, and just the next field here, guys, is get started. And you can see I don't have an option here um, for the allow using of multiple posting groups for customer or vendor. But for a few other of the features which are incoming into BC, I do have the try it out function here. Um, and the second line here is for the feature preview of analysis mode, which allows me to quickly analyze data directly in Business Central. And for the features that do have the option to try it out, like we do on this one, what we can do is just click this link and that takes me to a new window where I can preview that particular function or that particular feature. Um, I can have a play with it in this particular environment and when I'm done, I can close this environment down. So if I come into here, let me just go into customers. Um, I should see the little Boolean up at the top here to analyze pages. Whereas if I close this window down and go back 
to my previous window, I don't see that and that analyze Boolean up here. Um, but it also gives me a message here saying a new browser tab was open for you to try out the feature. For now, it's been temporarily enabled just for us. Um, so basically, once we're done with that, we can play with the feature and we can close it down. So let me say OK on that one. Um, and then really, we've just got two fields here that tell us the current company status and the update start date time, just to let us know when that particular feature was enabled and when we tried to enable it in terms of date time. So to the right here, we do have um, a help page which takes us directly to learn more about feature management. I can hit that to um, see more information on this particular page. Um, that takes me to a learn.microsoft.com page where I can see um, some more information um, on the feature management page. Um, and let me just switch back and I can also go in to see the release plan, which will basically show me the release plan, very similar to the page here that we saw in the Learn More, it will just give me an idea of what's coming in terms of updates to Business Central. Um, so just an FYI in terms of the update schedules to Business Central, um, we do have minor updates being released most months, um, but the two major updates are usually in April and in October. Um, so that's when you'll be getting major updates in functionality um, that you might need to sort of test in the feature management in uh, a development test environment. Um, other things that we need to mention for this, um, there are features, um, I'm not sure if we have any examples right now on screen, but there are features that can be released um, as part of this feature management which do not allow the rollback of that particular feature. So I think this might be one here. So if I say all users, um, it does tell me, look, after you enable this feature for all users, you cannot turn it off again. This is because it basically, I mean, I won't read the whole message, um, but it basically makes some changes to the um, way that Business Central works in terms of the underlying table structure code, perhaps as well. Um, and it basically means that we can't roll back once we've enabled that feature. So just want to be careful with if you want to enable particular features, um, but it will always give you this type of a message if it's going to do that, 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 um, that feature enablement and you can't roll back after that. Um, just another thing here, you might enable one feature and see a few other features enabled on here. So I don't know if I have any examples of that one on this particular screen right now, but you might find that you want to enable one particular feature for all users, and that will also enable some of the other features which are currently not enabled. Um, the reason for that is because there's dependencies between them. So just watch out there. You might end up enabling um, sort of a few others when you enable one of the features that you want to test. Um, so there are some other features which we should watch out for, namely this one here. So feature convert user group permissions. So this is around um, some functionality which is soon to be dropped um, in Business Central. So if you use user group permissions, you will need to convert those to security group permissions um, at some point in time in the future. You can see here the update that that's going to be applied is update 25, so Q4 2024. So at the time of recording this video, we've still got um, a while for that, but doesn't hurt to go in and test. Um, and you can see that does have the try out functionality here. So if you want to try that out in a new environment, you can do, but obviously you have to have security groups set up in AD. Um, before you can go ahead and use that functionality. So we'll do a separate video on that one, um, maybe in the future. Um, so just one last thing on the feature management page. Obviously, you just um, don't want anyone to come along and go ahead and modify this um, um, page. So you don't want just any user to come along and enable features, even though it is in a test environment. So what you can do is we do have a permission set um, which is dedicated to the feature management page. Um, so if I just search for my permission sets page and we do have a feature management admin um, permission set which you can assign 
to those users who you want to be able to go into the feature management screen and add functionality or try out functionality. Um, so just bear that in mind um, if you want to control who is able to access feature management and enable new features. Um, so that's everything I wanted to talk through. Hope you guys found it useful. Uh, thank you very much and uh, we'll see you on the next one.